Hello. What are you doing? I'm going to put this up to here. Okay. <coughs> well, um, excuse me. Mr. Mo? wants to say hi. Oh, Daddy wants to say hi. Hello, Mr. Mo. He is a fluffy beastie of nature. Magoo! Say hi, Daddy. Say hi. Magoo! Magoo! What a cat. He's a very friendly beastie. All right, Mighty Roar from the Beastie Poo. How is everybody uh, today? Today on the agenda, we're going to play Microsoft Flight Simulator. As some people might know from yesterday, I upgraded to the deluxe version, and now I have 10 planes that I haven't flown before, except I flew two yesterday. I flew the Dreamliner, and I also flew the uh, another one. Um, but we are not going to, we're going to fly two, maybe only one or maybe two, depending on time more of these new planes that I have not seen before. So I'm pretty excited about it because they're new and I haven't seen them before. Um, let's see, where do we want to start off from today? Ooh, cloudy and cloudy in Eastern Australia. Uh, not a bad day in Maui, maybe. I uh, haven't taken off from there in a while. There's a crater up there and Hana. All right. So, right, we took off in this Cirrus SR-22 yesterday, which is a new plane to me. There's 10 new planes that come with this uh, special version, including, let's see, some of them are um, these this Diamond TDI and I think the DB20. Um, and let's see. This Pipstral Virus SW-121, which I want to try. And also, let's see. Um, this uh, Beechcraft Baron G-58 looks like fun. But I definitely want to try. Uh, this 152, the 152 Aerobat, and the one, it's one of these 172s. I think... And uh, one of these uh, Cessnas, I think I had the Longitude and the new one is the CJ4 that I didn't have before. Um, the one I kind of want to try today is the Zin, Zlin Aviation, which is an ultralight shock ultra. We get floats or skis. And, and since it's Hawaii, I think we should take floats or just regular way, regular things. So this will be the first time I've ever flown in this particular plane. Okay, it comes in this this uh, comes in this one livery. And we're gonna start a cold and see how that goes. Like we do for all our missions, start the plane cold, fly somewhere. Determine some cap capabilities of the plane if we can, and uh, then we land somewhere. Although this is a water plane, we could land anywhere. Water landing is, is an option. Plenty of water, and uh, and then we're gonna play some music today. So it's gonna be uh, guitar day, I believe. And the guitar, of course, today is the Les Paul Studio model in Warren Cherry. Pretty guitar. 
Okay, and the other thing I'm planning for in the future that you guys uh, might be interested in is I'm going to do a studio stream in my recording studio, which is located on the other side of the room there, behind me. It looks like a backdrop, but it's a perfectly working recording studio. Well, a keyboard, basically a keyboard studio. I can sing, it's got a microphone, um, and I can record things. And uh, it's got quite, it's got three synthesizers, two synthesizers, a drum machine, uh, re, uh, eight, eight track recorder and the piano. So it's got quite a bit of stuff and I can kind of show how it all works, but I need to make sure I have the right kind of cabling so that I can reach my camera closer to that so I can set that up. And also I can do audio back from the output of that to um, the audio that would So this is the plane we're in, pretty plain looking. Still, let's get a closer look here. Ultra, shock ultra. Okay, it's got some classic slim features like the plexiglass roof, so you can see above you, above there. Very lightweight design, everything carbon fiber for lightness, or for, you know. All right, we're gonna turn on our master power. I guess we don't have to worry about our 12 volt system. Uh, both magnetos go to on. This is a real simple plane. Um, caution, low oil pressure. Throttle to part way. Okay, and what's down here? Landing gear down. Sub panel lighting, okay. Gear advisory, yeah, I know what that's for. Column one volume 100%. Okay, these are breakers here. Okay. Okay, so where is the fuel supply? Usually it's up here or down on this side, usually. Okay. Usually there's a fuel, that's the flaps leather lever, and this is. Actually, that's, I think that's a parachute puller for, this plane has a parachute, but it's not modeled. Can you open it? Let's find out. I don't believe you can open. You couldn't normally open this door. That's not a door. This is a door. Here, is there a handle? There's a handle, it doesn't open it. All right, that's not good. It's a plane. All right, this is the water rudder, right? Okay, good. I don't see any fuel control or cutoff. There's a choke. And assuming it starts up and keeps running, that means there wasn't a fuel uh, valve. Most planes have a fuel on-off valve, and you turn it off for um, refueling. Make sure you know. Okay, let's look at some. You see the water rudders out. Okay, cool. Um, once the engine's warmed up a bit, we can put the choke back in. Seems to be running fine. Very good. Checking the altitude doesn't really give you much. I guess you get those electronic uh, gauges here, so that's the only thing that's telling you what's going on with it, with the engine, the uh, exhaust temperature, and the manifold temperature. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Intake temperature? No. Cylinder head temperature. Sorry. Exhaust gas. To, EGT is exhaust gas temperature, and CHT is cylinder head temperature. Uh, I think this is a water cooler. Fuel left and right, okay. Although it doesn't show how you would switch tanks. I assume it's automatic. Okay, it's got full warning lights there. I'm just getting used to it because I've never actually flown this particular plane before. We're in Maui. We're gonna want to head, I guess, east. Maui ground to Savage Kilo Echo November Sierra Hotel with Kilo request taxi for takeoff east departure. Echo November Sierra Hotel Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 23. The taxiway Foxtrot cross runway 20. Alpha Golf cross runway 20. Contact tower on 118.7 when ready. Steer. You see the water rudder steering. Cool. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 23 using taxiway Foxtrot really cross runway 20. Alpha Foxtrot Alpha, Alpha Golf cross runway 20. Savage November Sierra Hotel. It's like a traffic jam. Those cars should, no, none of those cars should be there. Take a 
right sheet path across here. Shortcut. Looks like from the side. I do want to take up, the, in addition when I got the uh, deluxe version, I got 10 more at modeled airports uh, and they I haven't seen them yet. Wants to take me. What's that plane doing sitting on the runway? Maui Ground Hawaiian 2 Tree request taxi to the gate. Hawaiian 2 Tree taxi to gate Foxtrot Tree Niner using taxiway Foxtrot Alpha Bravo. Yeah, okay. Just want us to take off on 23. Let's see if it'll let us take off. Maui Tower Savage Kilo Echo November Sierra yeah. Hotel at Bromley 2 Tree at ready for departure east departure. Savage Kilo Echo November Sierra Hotel Altimeter 29 decimal minor 8 wind 220 at 21. East departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway right, 2 right. Tree. There's a plane on the road. There's two planes on the runway. There's a bunch of bugs here. We Cleared for takeoff runway 2 Tree Savage November Sierra Hotel. Okay, first, uh, this is our first takeoff at this point. What is our speed? 100. And there we are. Which way do we want to go? East departure? That's the other way. Oh, you, you, this is plane just sitting there. Oh, okay, oh yeah. Gear up. So you can see these little gear tuck in. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm turning around for the east. And Maui east. Tower Savage Kilo Echo November this way. Sierra Hotel continue. They make you take departure. off into the wind. Okay, it flaps up to zero. Alright, so first impressions of the plane, it comes off the ground easily. We're at full power and we're not like we're gonna turn it to the green to out of the red, so we're in the green power. Um, it looks like it needs some trim because it's heavy to kind of stay from climbing. So I'm trying to trim it so that it will come up. It's not heavy, but it's not super powerful either. It's a lot of trim to stay vertical. That's that's about a, that's about a that's about a horizontal flight there. Maybe there, and that's with the engine pretty much at the push to the limit. It's a bumpy ride. I mean, some planes definitely have that smooth feeling, and this one does not. It feels like you're kind of in a... I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going to pop out of the sky or anything like that. And this is true of these uh, planes that have floats, because they are generally heavy and have a lot of drag associated with them. But I certainly wouldn't try to get to the top of one of these uh, volcanoes in this plane. Got great visibility. Um, it is a pretty one. Of course, I think all the planes are pretty. But I do like the kind of basic you know, visible structure and things like that. Basically, the wings are just two big gas tanks, I believe. As well as the thing to take you off. I'm trying to keep it up. We are a little heavy because we've got a pretty big load of fuel. 
Malto. By top, I mean Haleakala or Malto, which is that up there. It doesn't look that tall, but it is, uh, I think, 13,000 feet or 12,000 feet. It's, it's way out of the range of this plane. It would take us a long time circling around trying to gain altitude just to get up there. In case anybody's wondering where this is, this is the island of Maui in Hawaii. We could drive over, we could fly over the place where it was burned, but it won't show it. Oh, by the way, that you can see here that valley, It's uh, Maui consists of two volcanoes smushed together, one on that side, I forget what it's called, and uh, Haleakala, I think, or no, or whatever, on this side. They're both extinct, long dormant. But then there's this bridge of land between them. It's a beautiful island. Can't beat it, really. Well, it is a water plane. So we should probably think about giving it a, a test water landing and then taking off again from the water. So by water landing in this case, we're going to try to find a nice harbor in the ocean. Yeah, while um, in, uh, islands tend, tend to produce much better frame rates, especially when because there's no large buildings and no large cities around. So we're getting 140 frames per second, which is pretty good. And 200 watts, which is decent usage of the. Although it should, you know, it should be pushing 250 watts. That's its, that's its reasonable normal speed for the GPU. And we're pushing 100. We're getting plenty of frame rates. That's good. Again, it, it's mainly because it's not having to draw a lot of polygons, public, you know, polygon bitmap building and all this. Yeah, we'll fly back to its, uh, um, geez, what's the main city in Maui called?
Alright, let's do a test landing in the water, see how it performs with the water landing. So flaps, and probably full flaps, because we want to be landing pretty slow. Wow, look at those flaps. That's a dramatic 42% flap. And I think, yeah, you want it, it'll, it'll help us land at the 35 knot speed that we want to land at. Here's that's the water landing. Yeah, here's that for water landing, so thank you. We're aware of that. Thank you. That is what we're doing here. Whoops. 40. You basically just touch it down like you you feel like you're not even moving at all, but according to this, that's 35 knots. It looks a lot slower. But you know, that's about right, because I mean, look look from the inside. You know, you're we're moving. But that's a 35 knot takeout. Okay, the flaps go back to zero. This this is the flap panel here. All right, water handle. I forgot to, to. We'll have to experiment with this. Water handle, water rudder down, down. So those are the water. You can't really tell, but flaps up, and now we can steer. Yeah, look at how that great steering. Even with the engine off, turn the engine off entirely, or down to idle, and we can still steer using the water rudder. Until we're, until we're basically completely stopped and then we can't steer anymore. All right, so if we had the water rudder out of the water and we tried to do that, and it still lets you steer, although they are still kind of in the water, so that makes some sense. You can't really steer. You have to do that as well. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to land it on an actual runway. Full power. Lapsed at one-third. Water rudder retracted. Right off the right off the water. I need mean, to pull the stick back. Flaps to zero. And then she's back down to cruise. So it does land and take off on the water quite 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 smoothly, I would say. Maybe two degree. All right, well, we're going, to, we're going to land where we took off in this case. There's not really that many other airports in this rip area. Maui Tower Savage Kilo Echo November Sierra Hotel is five miles northeast, 300 feet with Kilo to land. Savage Kilo Echo November Sierra Hotel Maui Tower. Altimeter 29 decimal minor 8 wind 220 at 21. Savage November Sierra Hotel. What does that look like on a map here? Okay. So, the only thing we gotta do this time is absolutely sure to lower our stick and landing here. Down. Oops. And they slowly come out. The front ones kind of come out on the little things and those kind of screw down there. Yeah, I don't get a great feeling of being 
overpower, that's for sure. I, I, do, I would, even at, at the very end here, or, you know, as we're coming to approach, I would not want to lower uh, my engine going full. As, well, they, it's only, only at 79. It's a slow play, but I, I get it. I think we want to try up that, uh, try to start up that two engine um, prop plane. Gears down, flaps to one third, trim to zero, or half. You think one third, but we're going after the half position of both Trim to zero. It's interesting, yeah. You trim it to zero with the flaps down, and it and the vertical, the vertical speed tends to stay fairly constant, which I think is probably intentional. For efficient landing. We're approaching the landing strip. That's what it looks like from the uh, pilot's position. There's a crosswind, which is why we're kind of pointing to the left of the Too, but yeah, nothing happens too quickly in a plane that goes this slow. Okay, we're about to stall out. I don't think we're about to stall out, but we sure are about to. No, no, stall speed's like 40. So it's just, it's just got a lot of. It's just a very light plane that any amount of turbulence affects it, and there is turbulence. This plane does model kind of winds, like wind. Uh, Grass and turbulence. There, you, know, you can see how it affects this plane. Whereas other planes just kind of slice through this. They're heavy. They slice through this kind of uh, wind, wind turbulence, and you don't even feel it. This is a plane that you feel it. <laughs> this is the one we have feel. It. All right, we're going way too fast to land, so we're going to go for full flaps. Jack's with giant speed brakes there. We're going to start bringing our engine down, too. Watch the vertical speed indicator. Yeah, I mean, it really looks like you're, you're, you're landing at almost zero. But, I mean, we have a long way before we stall. That was. I mean. Savage November Sierra Hotel exit runway when able. I mean, I'm able. Hawaiian two four zero. It's, it's really funny. Yeah, no other plane. I just, you just feel like you're you come to a stop. It's got a very slow stall speed. Cleared visual runway two tree approach. But that was a very light landing. I mean, that was a very soft. Savage November Sierra Hotel. We need to park right here somewhere. That's where we started off from. Yeah, I'll, let's check out another plane, though. As, as, as I mentioned, I have 10 new planes. This is the third new one I've tried. I think it's cool. Alright, we're going to start right here. We're going to apply parking brakes. We're going to set this to zero, the flat throttle to zero. Landing gears down. Okay, and we're going to turn off everything. 
It was a nice spin in, the, in that plane. Let's uh, let's really want to check out another plane, and this one we're just going to start it up. We're not like we're not going to fly anywhere. We're going to go through the start start sequence. But I'll show you which one. We we'll go somewhere else. Uh, Salinas. All right. Aircraft selection. Okay. It's a two engine propeller plane, the Beechcraft Baron G58. At least this one comes in some liveries. Got to try that one. And I just, I just want to start it up. I don't think we're going to go anywhere. But I do enjoy cold planes that I've not seen before. You know, because I just kind of like figuring out where the switches are, where the left laps are, where the landing gear is, and all that stuff. It's fun. So I mean, it's one of the most part of the fun fun part of the games is kind of exploring a brand new plane and flying it is usually not not the the most interesting part for me. It's figuring it out. Yeah, we're gonna do a uh, stream over from the music studio in a couple of days, I think. Oh, by the way, but not tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be today's guitar. It crashed. It does that thing. Oops, hold on. It crashed all right well let's see what time is it 37 minutes in yeah i think that's a signal that we're going to switch to music um microsoft flight simulator crashed it which it does i mean it's it you know it won't do it again doing the same thing but it does have that uh crashy thing so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to guitar plan for like 45 minutes or so and it's a show. Hey, you know, every day I do like an hour to an hour, an hour and a half long, basically on average show, TV show with commercials and shit. It's like kind of amazing to think. And, you know, it's a little different every time. And I like doing it. And every now and then people say hi or people watch me on the bots and stuff like that. It, it's it's kind of cool. I'm going to keep doing it. So uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to switch over to music. And it's going to take about five minutes just to set up some of the cables here. And then we're going to play some guitar. So I hope you stick around. Thank you.
Hello, back. Welcome back. Check one, check one, check one. So, uh, guitar today is my uh, Gibson Les Paul studio model in uh, Warren Cherry, this is called. And um, it's one of two, there's, you know, there's a Warren Brown model of Warren Cherry, very commonly made. Although they don't make them that much anymore because these are low end uh, cost wise and, you know, they don't make enough profit on them. Thank you. 
Check one. Check one. Can you hear me? Check one. How's the mic? A little low, about right. Check one. Plenty of things you have. You can play a long time. Now there's a turnabout. Maybe because I'm trying. There's been times I'm so confused. All of my roads they need to do. I just can't turn and walk away. It's hard to say what it is I see in you. Wonder if I'll always be with you. Words can't say, and I can't do enough to prove it's all for you. I thought I'd seen it all, but it's been a long, long time. But there were triple fall, wondering if I'm behind. There's been times I'm so good use All on my road for the need to you I just can't turn and walk away It's hard to say what it is I see in you Wondering if I'll always be with you Words can't say, I can't do Enough to prove it's all for you Rain comes pouring down, falling from blue skies. Words without a sound coming from your eyes. Finally, I figured out. Took a long, long time But now there's a turnabout Maybe cause I'm not hand trying There's been times I'm so confused All of my roads with a lead to you I just can't turn and walk away It's hard to say what it is I see in you And if I'll always be with you Words can't say, I can't do Enough to prove it's all for you It's hard to say what it is I see in you And if I'll always be with you Words can't say, I can't do Enough to prove it's all for you Hey, Donnie, best chatter on all Twitch. Good to see you. Good to see a little, little guitar today. A little short stream. I don't get much of an audience on the weekends anyway. I forget it all right. I could just sit here tonight. Sitting out no shape for driving. I got anywhere to go. I don't know. It's my studio. My Gibson Les Paul studio. Beautiful. Probably my
up. I hope I could do it. I'm going to give it a whirl. Just might tune me a little bit here. This is the wrong version of the song. Hold on. I'm looking at the lyrics. And they're not going wrong. Hold on. But okay. my love is vengeance. It's never free. It goes like. When I do, it just crack it open. Do I use it and lose my clue? When I smile, it gives me some bad news Or I act and act like a fool And if I swallow anything evil Put your finger down my throat If I shiver, it give me a blanket Keep me warm, let you wear your coat I had the lyrics up here and it gave me it was like the lyrics to the non who version of the song and it didn't have the if I swallow anything evil lyrics which are the parts that I don't know it says behind with my limp biscuit and they cut out that part because I was looking for a when my fist clenches crash my okay I got this again <laughs> With my dream, dream, it's empty. As my conscience seems to be, 
karaoke version of uh, you know that song uh, wish you were here if you want to air me and we'll be like this through uh, sound output Heaven from hell to stars and pain. I can you to a green veil when the cold still rains. Fly from the veil.
All right. I like doing it. I mean, I, I feel like I'm getting a little better every time. <laughs> I mean, I've played this song a million times. But this particular karaoke version, I have not played that much. It's, it's kind of, that's, that was a new idea that kind of looked for a karaoke, a karaoke version of that song. Excuse me. I appreciate you saying that. And, um, uh, yeah, thank you. But I'm going to keep doing it, whether, even if you didn't like it. So. Because I like it. But you like it. I'm glad you like it. couple quick announcements. Uh, I made them earlier. I'm going to make them again. For this week, tomorrow is going to be a music stream, special music stream, be Christmas music uh, from my Christmas fake book uh, on the keyboards. Day after that will be a guitar stream featuring a different guitar. So that'll be Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm shooting to do my first stream. It might not be till Friday. Wednesday, one of those days for, for the for the keyboard stream, we will be shooting, uh, moving the camera to my music studio, studio. All this equipment works, and I'll be showing off what all of it does uh, from uh, the, the two synthesizers. There's a drum machine. There's a piano that's similar. That's a regular piano. There will be Flight Simulator followed by – tomorrow is going to be Flight Simulator followed by uh, Christmas music. Every day it's going to be Flight Simulator followed by something because I like doing the Flight Simulator. You know, when, so, but, you know, half an hour Flight Simulator and then 45 minutes or so of music. And tomorrow I'm going to be practicing some of my Christmas songs from the Christmas fake book, which is – you know, some of them I think I can do well, and some of them are not going to come off so well. But that's fine. You know, I, I need, and I'll probably do it a couple more times before the end of the year. Um, and then the day after that will be another guitar stream. But then the day after that, which is Wednesday, I think, I'm going to try to do a, a studio stream. So I'm going to move my other camera back so you can see it. And I figured out a way where I can have my audio into the, plug my audio into the, my mixer over here. Just need a long, I need a long cable, which I had um, to plug the audio out, so you'll be able to hear. Um, uh, hear the output, the actual output of the the mixer there, the output of all the synthesizers and the drum machines and everything once working together. And I have a microphone there, um, and so that could be fun. That could be fun and interesting. I've just I've I just been thinking about doing it for a while, and I think it's going to happen next week. Um, and if it happens, we'll mix in, in the studio for the uh, music event. We'll go back to the we'll go to a studio, uh, the the recording studio, which I use for my. Um, Conduit of Humanity projects. I've been using those. We have three CDs out. I've added a lot of, of, of uh, tracks to, to the uh, the CDs that have been out on a Conduit of Humanity. Uh, and I don't know if we're having an upcoming one. But I also do it just for fun and just to kind of make my own kind of weird little trance dance music things and, and, and to have a great time back there. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that live and you can kind of see how that technology works. It, it's going to be really fun. So it's going to be an interesting week and a fun week. I uh, look forward to seeing you there. Today's, you know, it's a weekend stream. It's a little short. I don't like to be too long just because I like to have my weekend to do you know, watch football and do, and do other stuff too. But I do like to stream every day. And I was I was going to play guitar. I was going to play flight simulator. So I might as well do it. You know, in for, for, in front of online. You know, it's all it's all the same to me. Um, uh, but um, uh, yeah, again, I had a fun time, and hopefully that will come off well. But again, tomorrow is Christmas music. Day after is more guitar, and the day after that is going to be keyboard studio for, for the for the music will be in the studio. I don't, I don't exactly know what we're going to do, but. It'll be fun. And then whatever happens after that, I have no idea. So uh, we'll see you all. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Have a great week, rest of your weekend, whatever it is. And have a fantastic week ahead. I look forward to seeing as many as you as possible. Uh, and uh, yeah, take care, everyone. Hold on. <laughs>